say to you thanks so much uh, I appreciate it. this is my favorite part of the show it really is I that was an accident almost and I almost <laughs> that was a lawsuit just waiting to happen I almost went right into you I didn't mean to do that um, I'm getting reckless on the thing but this is my favorite I get so excited I come out here and it's the hello it's the beginning it's the it's the grand opening of the show and, and that's my favorite part of anything is the hellos uh, what I don't like, the, the more feared, the avo I, I avoid and, I, and the, the dreaded goodbye. Whenever I'm at a party, I, I just never even try to say goodbye. I'll just go out the back door <laughs> and just say, oh, you were busy or something. I'll even actually use an upstairs window if I have to. <laughs> All you need is rope, special shoes, and a climbing bra. And, uh, <laughs> and by that, I don't mean a bra that rides up on you. I mean the, <laughs> the, the hooks. Um, there's one thing worse, though, than the, than the goodbye at a party, and that's the long goodbye, which is uh, when you're trying to go, and, oh, it's getting late. Look at this. We better get going. We should get a move on. Oh, the yawn also helps when you do that. And then they follow you to the front door, uh, or even worse, then you have to follow them because gave, you gave them the coat in the beginning of the evening, and you have no idea where they put it. Don't ever <laughs> give them your coat. And so finally you get to the front door, and you think you're almost out, and then you hear, oh, wait. You know, you should take some leftovers with you. We'll, <laughs> we'll never eat all that pie and turkey. And that's when you want to say, that's, your, that's not my problem, that's your problem, lady. And, uh, but you don't, because it's your mom. And so, uh, <laughs> you shouldn't call your mother lady. But um, the absolute worst goodbye is when you're on the phone and people won't let you off the phone when you're trying to wrap it up. And you, you go, all righty, okie doke then. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad you called. And they don't get the hint. I'm glad I called, too. <laughs> this is nice. You know, and then, or you just, I, you know, I need to get back to work. It's like they don't hear me at all, and they're, like, trying to stun you. You know how they give you the information right when you say, I need to go? Ron left me for a larger, older woman. <laughs> and then you go, oh, no. Not because you're sad, but because they're still talking. And then, um, or you'll say, you know, I've, I've got to get to a meeting, and then they'll go, so, what else is going on? You mean besides the meeting I just told you I have to get to? <laughs> Nothing. That's it. Here's what I do. I like to put on some music really, really loud so that they can hear the music, and then I'll say, I have to go now. I've got to dance because Tony's here. <laughs>
I'd forgotten a lot of the moves. <laughs> I still have the bunny hop. That was good. And then the back thing. Yeah, I need to rent the video again so I can... <laughs> I think I almost had it down. You can hardly tell the difference between Usher and I. <laughs> <laughs> On the show today, Kevin Klein is here. Kevin Klein. <laughs> The Lovely, it's on DVD, coming out soon. And, uh, you know, he's been in A Fish Called Wanda, The Big Chill. Uh, very, I, I like him in everything. I really, you, you just can't go wrong when he's in a movie. Also, the very, very hilariously funny Amy Poehler from Saturday Night Live is here. Right there. She does a weekend update with Tina Fey. In the luxury box. She said, can I sit out there just for the opening of the show? I want to see. And I have a feeling it's just so that she can play me on the Saturday Night Live. I'm, I, it's just a matter of time, because she will be the one to do it. I'm sure of it. And I, be gentle. Be very gentle. But, uh, <laughs> oh, it scares me that you were that close to watch the opening. All right, so, um, now, you know, I know it's the 12 days of giveaways, but, I, you know, as I say, people send me gifts all the time. Someone sent me a, a gift, a, a CD, um, and, uh, and sheet music, and a videotape. Uh, and a song he, he wrote and sang for me. And uh, his CD is called Over 80, So What? And uh, <laughs> that's his, uh, there he is, Jerry Gordon. And so he sent this video, and uh, I don't know when I've enjoyed anything so thoroughly, really, ever in my life. Please enjoy it as much as I do. Please watch. I'm Jerry Gordon from Columbus, Ohio. And you know, if I had one wish, and I thought it would come true, I wish that I could have you right here with me today so that I could sing this song for you. It's a song that I wrote, and it's called Ellen. So here you go. Who's the girl with the big blue eyes? Eyes that seem to hypnotize. Why, it's Ellen. Ellen DeGeneres. She's the one with the great big smile. The smile that lets you know life's worth I want to personally thank Jerry for, for that beautiful, beautiful song. So I'm going to call him a little bit later in the show. I'm going to try to surprise him. Hopefully he's home. The gift of song, is there anything better, really, when you think about it? Uh-oh. What's that? Rod Stewart, please tell us what that sound means. Show Gingerbread Man. Here he comes. You know what Netflix is? Have you heard of Netflix? <laughs> That's right. It's the largest online movie rental service, and it's a very easy way to rent movies. They have 25,000 titles of new releases, and here's how it works. You go online, you create a wish list, and then Netflix ships you three, D three DVDs at a time uh, just from your list on, in one business day. Is it this one right here? It's in the mailbox. Oh, it, look, it's in the mailbox. <laughs> um, so, and then they send you... And the three DVDs, and then uh, you, you get them. 
and you open them up and you go, oh, it's the Big Chill, and Kevin Klein's in that, and he's on the show today. And you go, oh, it's a fish called Wanda, and he's in that too, and then, it's, oh, it's the Lovely, and he's in that as well. And then you, once you see it, see if I remember how to do this, then you play it, and then you rip it off, and then you put it right back in there. And then you close it up and you mail it off and, Im and immediately they send you another one right, right away. And you, you just get them and you, there's no late fees, no nothing. And it's normally, it's, uh, it's expensive and uh, you, don't, cause <laughs> it, you don't even have to go to the video store. It's normally $17.99 a month, but today everybody's getting a one-year membership for free. <laughs> On Ellen, that's ridiculous. Why a DVD, DVDs? What about if you get this? Seven and portable DVD player, the best you can get anywhere. <laughs> hey. It's got great picture and sound, and it comes. That's great, you can take it anywhere, but also it comes with this travel pack so you can put it in your car and kids can watch it from back. <laughs> Normally, it sells for... <laughs> Normally it sells for $280, but it's for free. Now, as I said, normally it's $280, but uh, today it's yours for free. I'm no electronics expert, but you can go to Best Buy, and they have experts there, and they'll help you find the perfect holiday gifts. If you go to our website, you can find out how to get these great gifts, or you can have a chance to win them if you go to our website. Don't go away. When we come back, Kevin Klein's going to be here. Our first guest is an Academy Award-winning actor who delivered an impressive performance in his most recent movie, The Lovely, which comes out on DVD later this month. Please welcome Kevin Klein. <laughs> Someone have their feet up on here? No, 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 no one would do that. Look how clean they only touch the stage, no, I, no, I'm just which is kidding. clean by people all night long. Of course. Um, it's good to meet you, and we have never met before, I don't believe. No. I don't you think are... so. Ellen DeGeneres? <laughs> oh, it's DeGeneres. I DeGeneres. It was DeGeneres. I... No, de well, Jerry got it right in a song. I've never had a song, and he clarified not just a song, Ellen, but he puts my last name in it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like that. I did too, because it could. What could've... kind of name is DeGeneres? Is it's, it... uh, it's French. Oh, du généris. Du généris, yes. Voilà. And That's... what kind of name is Ellen? I don't know. <laughs> it was, I, don't, I, I like it now, but when I was a kid, I hated it, because uh, it was a weird name. But now I like it. It's, it's... I was the only Kevin I had ever met until I got to college. No. Yeah, Kevin no one... is not a... Now it's everywhere. Everyone's Kevin. Was that a bad... Practically everyone. Not everyone, though. I hated it. I wanted to change my name. Everyone says, what? Calvin? Clem? Kel? Herlian? Did you hang out with old people? Who was talking to you like that? No, just idiots. <laughs> Did you have a middle name that you tried to use? Delaney. That was your middle name, Delaney? Still is. Oh. <laughs> I would have thought you'd gotten rid of no, that. No, I, I, I tried to lose it. it, but I couldn't. So you couldn't even switch it to that for a little while? No, Delaney. Uh, did you, hey, did you see what I was, uh, aren't those good gift, gift ideas, the Netflix, the uh, ticks? Yeah, I wish I were an audience member. Yeah. <laughs> you could do that. Gift. It's a great way to send all your, your DVDs out to people. I, it's so ironic that you, that, because I just joined Netflix a week ago, and in fact, in New York, I have three... My first order is waiting for me. Did you really join? I swear, yeah. Oh, and we're yeah, giving to them Yeah, I just got a computer for, for my birthday, a laptop, and I'm trying to figure out, my kids are helping me figure out how it works, and, and then someone said, well, you know, you can get Netflix, and they've got everything. Yeah. And I was looking for some obscure... And what did you get? Film. What did you order? Just Ugh. curious what you'd look at. Oh, it's a, I mean, a, a Russian film called Unfinished Piece for oh. Player Piano. Yes. It's a adaptation of a Chekhov uh, play. <laughs> No, it's, it's I hilarious. It. I saw yeah. it. 
and I think an Antonioni film, La Ventura. Or something. I just the list is endless. That's a great company, and you see, oh my God, I've never, I can't find that in the video store. Yeah. I'll, I'll order it. No, it's a great idea. I'd, I'd never heard of it. I think it's a great idea. And I can actually, you can make gift certificates for people and mm -hmm. give it as a stocking stuffer kind of thing. Yeah, because that's a hard thing. Because you, you must really be in a ki uh, Christmas because you have two kids. Yeah. Are they kids? How old are they? They're 13 and 10. They're kids. Yeah, they're kids. But yeah, they're, oh, they're, they're into the receiving presents part in a, mm -hmm. in a big way. Yeah. And your wife, uh, Phoebe Cates, by the way. That's yes. your wife, just in case you forgot. Um, this is, uh, what's going on here, Kevin? <laughs> There's Santa Claus. Who's that? I was playing uh, Falstaff in Henry IV at Lincoln Center at that time, and I hate wigs and I hate fake facial hair, so I mm -hmm. tend to grow my own. Wow. Well, you're good at it. <laughs> it grows. Oh, I know. It's, I, was, I had no idea I could grow that full of beard. Yeah. A full, full of beard. Uh, now, how did Phoebe feel about that look? She was fine. The, least, the, the less recognizable I am, the happier she is. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you look almost arrestable. Because she sees that same face every day. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, and so now, what are you, are you into? Are you, where do you live? New York? New York. York. East, East Coast? Will you be getting a tree? Home? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, uh, in fact. Yes. Sorry, I, I spent Preparing the day, for another character no, that I, I'm all of a sudden getting. I spent, I spent the day yesterday with John Lovitz, so I, it's sort of... Yeah. Infect, yes! Yeah. yes. Um, I'm still sort of getting over that. Uh, yes, we'll get a tree, and then uh, uh, we'll decorate it and do all that. Uh-huh. And um, yes, and then there'll be the usual argument over who puts the star on top. Why? It's not an argument, but it was an issue. I, well, when they were very young, my daughter, well, my son, who's now 13, when he was about five, my daughter, and he had always had the honor of putting the, the star at the, at the top of the tree. I would lift him up and, and try not to knock the tree over while he put the star on and then stand back and admire it. And then when my daughter was around two, two and a half, we thought it's, it's her turn, and he understood that... And he's it, heavy now. He was heavier. Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen-year-old boy. I was boy. older, weaker, and yeah. give her a shot. And so I, he kind of understood philosophically and stood back and let her do it. And she put the star on. We stepped back and I said, what, "What do you think, Owen?" He said, "It's not quite as magical when she does it." <laughs> but that's the only sibling rivalry oh. moment they've had. Just the star. Yeah, that really? was sort of. And I said, "Now wait a minute." Now, she gets her shot. Now, I, I just heard that he was just in a movie. Yes. And, and that he's really good. Is that the buzz? That's the buzz. <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, it, he just shot it last summer. He, a friend of ours wrote, uh, Noah Baumbach, wrote and directed it and um, couldn't cast it. And he was over to dinner one night and he said, Owen, would you read for me? And he said, sure. And he was a natural. Wow. Yeah. 13. 13. And he's just so... And he's already the breadwinner in the family. Oh, good. Yeah. Now you can just be, sit back and let sit him do everything. Go for it. That's yeah. great. All right, we have to go to a break. We'll be right back right yeah. after this. We're back with Kevin Klein. And as I said uh, in, in the beginning of the show, I really love watching you work. I, and oh, I, I, there's so many. I mean, the big show I loved you in, and Grand Canyon, I was just rem reminded of you were in that. And, mm -hmm. I, and my life is a, is a house. house. It was great. And, yeah. um, and now you're getting amazing reviews for the Lovely. And you play... Two parts and two characters. How many characters do you play in this? Uh, one, uh, one. No. But I know, but I play them oh, at, at well, di different ages, and uh, it looks like uh, different characters because he ages it in a very dramatic way. Oh, that's right. Film. And now, how was the makeup? Took how long to look that uh, way? Five hours to put on and an hour and a half to take off. So that only left us about twenty minutes yeah, a day to shoot. To shoot. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of rushed. Yeah. It's it's really really impressive. Yeah. So okay. Um, by the way, I, mine doesn't take that long. I'm about three hours uh, yeah. to put on and then an hour 15 yeah. to take off. But, yeah. so, all right, let's uh, uh, show a clip and you'll see. This is why I thought it was two characters. Take a look. That was your friend Jerry, uh, the 80-year-old, playing the old guy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, we should have gotten him. I know. Well, uh, he, he'll get a lot of work after this, Jerry Gordon. <laughs> um, but, and you're, you're singing, and so obviously you've, you've sung and you play piano and... Yeah, and I finally got to use it all those years. I studied music um, in high school and uh, actually majored in music in, mm -hmm. at the University of, at Indiana University School of Music for two years before I got the acting bug. Mm -hmm. 
And, um, and the movie gave me a splendid opportunity to get back to the piano. And what did you, when you were saying that, did you want to sing? Did you no. want to, what, what did you want to do? I wanted to be a composer. Yeah? Yeah. And now I got to play one. Wow, that's yeah. great. So I didn't have to go through all the real, the real work of becoming yeah. a composer. Right. I just, I'll just be an actor and I'll yeah. play one. Well, it's great. It sounds yeah. great. Thanks. All right. Well, The Lovely is going to be available in, uh, on DVD in stores on December 21st. And uh, when we come back, I'm going to be calling that uh, Jerry Gordon guy to see if uh, I can sing something to him, maybe. So we'll be right back. Thank you so much. Kevin. Earlier in the show, I played a tape from an amazing guy named Jerry Gordon who wrote a song for me. Here's another quick look at it to remind you. So here you go. Who's the girl with the big blue eyes? Eyes that seem to hypnotize. I like that. All right, so I'm going to try to give him a call. Hopefully he's home. I'm going to have a little chat with him. And I like that he put my last name in there because otherwise Ellen Burstyn could think it's for her. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey, Jerry. Yes. Jerry, this is Ellen DeGeneres calling. Oh, hi, Ellen. How are you? Well, I'm just great. Good to hear you. There, that's the audience applauding because we just uh, I just played them your video and I and I love the song you wrote. Well, I'm glad you did. You're a sweet gal and I love you very yeah. much. Well, I love you too, Jerry. <laughs> and and you, you have a CD called Over 80. So what? <laughs> and uh, right. now, where have you? Where is this your only CD, by the way? Uh, well, yes, it is at this time. I did a, another. Um, Recording back in 1969, mm -hmm. but uh, no, it's good to take time off for a while before you do your <laughs> next one. Well, I'm thinking about it. That you know, uh, every day is important, and every day you want to do something more. So yes, you do. I better get after it. Now, on your next CD, do you plan on recording this song, Ellen? Will that be part of the CD? Well, it would have to be, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, it's a good that's song. For sure. Yeah. Now, have you ever written a song for anyone else before? Well, Sounds, yes, yeah. I have. Anybody on TV? No. All right, good. All right, I just want to make sure. Um, all no, right. You, you're, you're the most important person in the world as far as I'm concerned right oh, now. Oh, well, you're a smart, smart fellow. <laughs> you're a lovely guy. Well, all right. uh, will you do me a favor? Um, will you come and visit us and perform it here on the show? I would love to. All right, all right. I would love to have you on. Hey, Jerry. I, I got the I got the uh, the video this morning. I didn't have a whole lot of time to to write, but you know I started out. I wanted to be a songwriter, and that didn't work out for me. But I wrote a song because you inspired me to write one for you. And uh, so, can you just uh, I'll just put you on speaker, and you can listen, and I'm going to play you uh, my song, okay? All right, that'll uh, be great. All right, let me walk over to the area. Hold on. All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> Here we go. The guy with the silver hair, who's the guy with the so what flair? It's Jerry, <laughs> Jerry Gordon. <laughs> He's the one with the velvety voice. Everyone else is my second choice. That's Jerry, Jerry Gordon. <laughs> Sent me a tape with a beautiful song. He, he really has a way. He puts a big smile on my face that never seems to go away. His music grows on you really fast. I'm here to tell you, he's got class. He's got style that goes on for miles. Hey, hot stuff, I think you're wild. Jerry, hey, Jerry, Jerry, I love you. Yes, I do. Did you like it, Jerry? Oh, that's great. Wonderful. Maybe we can start a team together writing. See you enjoyed it? Career. That's, that's great. Okay, so you're going to come this week and you're going to perform your, show, your song on the show, right? I'll be glad to, yes. All right, that's great. If you want, you can borrow my band. They're called Jazz Hands. Is that right? All right, that'll be great. All right. <laughs> All I'm right, going to put that song on my next CD, too, Jerry. Okay, I will do. All right, drive carefully. We'll see you here soon. All right. Thank you're you in Columbus, so much. Ohio, right?
Pardon? Start driving now. Yeah, I sure will. <laughs> we'll be right back with Amy Polar. Don't go away. Thanks, Jerry. All right. We all know our next guest is one half of the Weekend Update team on Saturday Night Live. Take a look. Please welcome the very funny Amy Polar. Laugh. Everybody, that, the party's canceled. Yeah. That was the song that Tina and I wrote. I can't believe that it was not a good song. <laughs> People didn't appreciate it. Was it was voted the number two worst song. How could that be? Maybe because it's about a party getting canceled. Oh, that's right. Nobody wants to hear that. And it does start with one, two, three, three four, four, five, six. six. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think that's good to give people plenty of time to get ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's going to start, but you end no. six. No, yeah. I think you go even further sometimes. <laughs> you start on 17 we and 18. We should have just counted, and that should have been the song. That's a better yeah. idea. You're giving somebody an idea. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it all for yourself. Now, uh, I think you're hilarious in everything. And you and Tina Fey are, oh, are so thanks. great together. Were you nervous taking over for Jimmy Fallon? Yeah, he, he's, he's excellent, and he was excellent doing that job. And it was... And you know the 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 various people that have done update have been so amazing. So it was pretty stressful. Mm -hmm. And so the first show, I just kind of held onto my pencil, and I had these stress dreams that I was either going to swear. I'm always afraid I'm going to swear on mm -hmm. live TV, or that I was going to like throw up. Mm -hmm. So I have stress dreams that I'm like, I, as I'm swearing, I throw up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would think after you throw up, you'd swear again too. Yeah. <laughs> Just to distract from it. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it was pretty. It was pretty nerve wracking. Yeah. And also, you know, you just, you just have to say. Then you have to kind of get used to in between the jokes too. You have to kind of mm -hmm. get used to saying the joke and then hold it, hold it. Yeah. And cut away. So I was so in. While Tina was telling her joke, I was still just kind of in a haze, just waiting. Yeah. And, oh, my t my time now. <laughs> That's weird that it's so different. I mean, you're doing live television every single week, and you've got to go so fast between scenes and playing all these characters, and yet that's a different thing for you. Yeah, and you know, you did the show. You were great on the show. We loved having you. How, did you guys remember when Ellen did? The oh, show? come on! Remember that? Terrific. Terrific. So great. And um, you go from, you know, we, you, you're wearing a wig like two minutes before and uh -huh. some crazy outfit, and there's a lot of really crazy fast changes that are really fun. Oh, that, that they don't prepare you for. And I've said this before, where you, as soon as you finish something, someone's grabbing you and yanking you into a room and ripping your clothes off and putting a wig on and putting other clothes on. And, and you know, you get changed in different parts of the studio, and every once in a while, they try to do their best, but every once in a while, you get a glimpse of somebody looking at you changing, just as the way the studio like set up. somebody who, like an audience member? Every once in a while, an audience member, like, there just won't be the right, it'll just be so fast and frenetic that you'll look up and some guy will be like. <laughs> and last week I was changing and I looked up some guy and some guy was like, eh. <laughs> he gave me like, he gave me a dismissive no. He was like, not so great. No, he was probably thinking of something else, and you thought, well, that's horrible to tell me now after I've hosted the show and been naked in some room that... No, not with the host. They protect the host. Okay. Very, but the cast members, you know, we try our best, but we always... Because you really... I am the most modest person in the world, and that was such a shock to me that yeah. there's someone pulling your pants down, someone taking your shirt off, yeah. someone tying your shoes, because they're counting down 45 seconds, 42 seconds, and you don't think you're going to make it. And they're like, everybody, get, get out of your slices of pizza costumes. The yeah, pizza right. sketch is cut. <laughs> we got to go to the motorcycle. Like the ladies, and you have 30 seconds to go yeah. in your motorcycle. So if you can do that, that's weird that it's stressful to do the weekend update. Well, because it's like a completely different um, muscle, and I didn't come from, yeah. you know, stand-up, so it was, it was pretty nerve-wracking for mm -hmm. me, but we have tremendous writers, and mm -hmm. Tina's awesome, and she just kind of holds my hand. She's hilarious. She's the best. But you do, you do some of my favorite impressions on the show, and uh, you, you, do, well, you do Sharon Stone. Right. Is she happy with that? Oh, I actually, I was actually at an event recently where I just saw her recently, and she, I, and she did a new great thing too, which is she went like this. She yeah. was giving the peace sound. Uh huh. Um, I don't sound, I don't, I don't sound anything like her, but I like because she's always, she always seems like she's just like, ooh. Yeah. yeah. She's always just, she's always just sexy, and she's yeah. always just enjoying the moment. Yeah. <laughs> she's always just like. Um, you're, the way you were standing, I, I th was it the Golden Globes or something, the way you were standing? She's always just kind of standing like this, and she's always just kind of saying these, like, fantastic speeches and then just enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. She seems to enjoy life, yeah. that one. Yeah. And then, and then you do Sharon Osbourne as well. Right. And uh, that, I think, 
you know, I don't, Daryl Hammond is an incredible impressionist. I try to just grab something that, you know, it maybe is something like them. But Sharon Osbourne and I did one time, we, we got together uh, uh, on her show, and we both tried to call her dog and see <laughs> which one the dog would come to. And we were both like, come on, Minnie, come over here, Minnie. Come over here, Minnie, Minnie, I love you, come over here. And the dog was just like. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds exactly like her. Yeah. <laughs> and then you do uh, Anna Nicole Smith? Yes. Well, I've only done, I've only, uh, Tina Fey and Emily Spivey, writers on the show, wrote this sketch recently. And Maya, Rudolph and I got to have a lot of fun because we played Anna Nicole Smith and Diana Ross. <laughs> and we had a hard time getting to the podium. <laughs> and all, we, all, all like I had to remember to do is at some point rip off Maya's wig and f fall down. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, it's really fun to play her. And I also like, like her because whenever she's giving an award or if she's talking, it seems like halfway through she's like, <gasps> she wakes up and realizes where she is. <laughs> you know, it's like, ooh. <laughs> so it's like, hi. And she's like waking up for the first time. She's, um, she's a delight. Uh-huh. She is a delight. And then you do Kelly Ripa? Well... Daryl does an amazing Regis, and I kind of tag along as Kelly Ripa, and uh -huh. she actually came. Sometimes we have people come on the show, and, you know, we play them, and they get to play somebody else, and Kelly came on and was a guest on Regis and Kelly and played Angelina Jolie, and then at one point was annoyed by Kelly Ripa and got, got to punch herself in the face, <laughs> which is like probably an existential uh -huh. moment for uh -huh. her to get to punch a version of her in the face, but she was a great sport. And what do, you, what do you do for Kelly? What's your thing that you... I don't really know. I think she just is like all over Reed all the time, and she's just, uh, she's just, she's like, she's always like, I don't know who that is! Like, she's just a delight. Uh <laughs> I don't know. Um, she just is kind of, um, I think she's really fun, and Reed just seems kind of like trying to get through it, so yeah. she just tries to... Now it's just turned into me trying to make Daryl laugh. Mm -hmm. He doesn't seem like he breaks. No, he's a pro. Yeah. He's, he is, like, amazing. One of my favorite, and I kept it forever on TiVo, is uh, Debbie Downer. Oh. Uh, that, that was the most hilarious thing. I know you, it, it was on again last week, but I, I didn't see last week. And, and that's when so you... So funny. Oh, it, it when y'all lost it in the... Uh, when... Her, all I remember from that moment is Horatio Sands wiping his tears with pancakes. Right. I remember... <laughs> I watched it over and over again and cried every single time. It... Rachel Dratch's face in that when she is trying to nail, we, we, we were calling it like sticking the landing because she's trying so hard to stick her landing. And she, she, if you haven't seen the sketch, she plays this girl who give, like always likes to like say bad news. <laughs> and there's just a close up of her every time. And she's laughing so hard that she can't pull it together. She has to get a straight face and she cannot stick the landing. Well, is... what's wrong is the faces she makes while she's trying to wait for that. <laughs> Close up and the most <laughs> horrible face. Oh my god, they're the but, best. Faces. You know, these people, they just always, no matter how much somebody's saying something positive, they have one negative thing to say to remind you of how yeah. bad life is. Yeah, exactly. And She's it, a real downer. It's really funny. Yeah. All right, we have to take a break. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs> and from Saturday Night Live. And uh, now, when you're doing something live, what, what would be the worst thing that could go wrong? Besides, have you not made it in time, or is it working with? Well, working with animals is always really fun. I'm yeah, sure you've done that on, on your show, too. It had a lot of animals on, right? Not a lot. No, but yeah. But having live animals in a sketch is really fun because they don't care that it's live TV, so they just do whatever they want. Right. Um, and uh, one time we were doing a show. It was my first season, and John Goodman was the host, and we had a giant orangutan. And, um, and they're really, really strong. And this one hated women. So every time, oh, that's what I uh, took, uh, took away oh. from the experience. And um, so uh, every time uh, one of us would walk by it, it would just hiss and be like, ah. So anyway, we did that a sketch. That scared me, and that was you. <laughs> that, I can imagine if it was a monkey. Yeah, like a giant. So anyway, um, we do the sketch, and then when the sketch is over, your dresser usually comes up and grabs you and pulls you to the next dressing, changing area where right. people can look over and spy on you. Right. Um, and uh, uh, I felt his hand grab me, and it was in the middle, it was dark, so I just turned around and looked, and it was the chimp had, like, escaped and had come over and grabbed my hand and was pulling me, and, like, out of the darkness, it was like, <sighs> That's really scary. It was pretty scary. It was by itself? It had escaped? And, and 
was pretending to be one of those people handling you? And just... He was wearing, he's wearing a, a suit wow. and he had a little hat and he had an NPC ID and he was like, right this way. And I was like, oh, of course, wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. You're a chimp. Yeah. You saw the hair coming out of the tie yeah. on the neck. He was wearing a mustache uh -huh. and he was like a little sailor's cap and was like, huh? Sailor's cap? Weird. That's what he's, threw he's, you. And his he's... name tag, the president of NBC. That's what oh. it said. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think that's, so. Yeah, that's not you. No. <laughs> so last night, there was the, uh, or the other night, the, the right. big in 04, the, the VH1 awards, which I was at, you were at, and, right. and I did not see you. And, uh, but I was in the audience sitting behind uh, 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 P. Diddy and in front of Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas. Uh huh. So that's, that's, not... that's how I roll, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you roll. That's how I roll. Right, you were there because your husband, Will, right. who's on Arrested Development, was uh, winning a big right. uh, 04. Uh, I love Arrested Development. Me I too. love that show, and he's hilarious. So good. <laughs> Such a great show. If you have not seen Arrested Development, you have to see it. It really is. It won Best Comedy on the Emmys last year, and it's just... It, it, it's the, it is the best, funniest show. It is so great. The cast is unbelievable. And, you know, you were, will forever be part of... When I, wa I was in New York when they won the Emmy, and, um, you know, we'd, it was a surprise. It was a great surprise that the show really needed. And when you walked out... I'm not kidding. When you walked out on stage, I was like, Ellen, Ellen they're going to win. Oh my God, they're gonna win. I don't know why, but I just got such a good vibe when you came out and when you announced it, it was like, I felt like someone had won this, you know, like the Super Bowl. And, um, they did. and every time I see you now, I expect to win my something. husband to win something. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully I can <laughs> help him win something more. It deserves it. The show is really great. Yeah. And Mitch Hurwitz, who, who produces it, is, you know, I, I, so talented. So I'm happy for you. He gave the best speech at the Emmys. He was oh. so hilarious. Yes, he was. He was um, all right. Well, talented family, you and your husband. And uh, Saturday Night Live is uh, on Saturday nights at 1130 on NBC. One more thing right after this. We'll be right back. I want to thank Kevin Klein and Amy Polar. Tomorrow, Liam Neeson and George Lopez will be here. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, it's Tony's birthday. Bring out that big cake. I know. All right, you take that one. I don't know how to do it. There. All right. Good. And I'll take this. All right, hold on. Thank you, guys.